Well, right. Uh, you've been richly rewarded buying the uh, seven biggest names in technology, certainly uh, when it comes to market value, the so-called Magnificent Seven. Uh, good times, especially for Amazon and Meta, Microsoft and NVIDIA. Maybe less so uh, for the likes of Apple and Tesla. Indirectly, Google Alphabet, hard to say, but uh, it's certainly technology remains a predominant theme. Alan Nuckman, who was uh, very optimistic on these markets in the middle of all the selling that was going on and hand-wringing that was going on about a year ago at this time, kind enough to join us again, a bullseye right. option chief market strategist. Alan, still optimistic? Oh, yeah, I remain super optimistic. And today it looks like we're going to get to the S&P 5000. That was our, our first target. And in the bigger picture, if we take the distance of that drop that we had with that October of 2022 low uh, on that old top, then we're looking at S&P 6,000, which is about 25% up above. Wow. So there's still when a lot looking, of optimism left. When are you left. looking for that 6,000? Well, the 6,000, I'm not giving you a time frame. There okay. may be a pullback in profit taking first, but you know, I'm still very optimistic. Momentum, I'm not, a, I'm not in physics. Momentum is a, is a powerful force. And also, we could also get into thorough dynamics because the markets are hot. The markets are really hot right now. As a trader, you might want to see maybe a little bit more consolidation and a pause. But you have to choose. Do you want to go after the fast racehorses like these guys you just talked about? I mean, NVIDIA is up 200 percent. Meta's up 275 percent in the last 52 weeks. So, yeah, they've got momentum on their side, but they can always slow down. All right. You know, th there's another argument for these stocks that they're good, you know, buy and hold stocks. Or if you have them, keep holding them because they're the future of America, yada, yada, yada. I can remember a lot of people saying that about IBM and what have you. But uh, uh, do, do you buy that argument? There are certain stocks, uh, maybe whole sectors that people are more inclined. They didn't have these when I was a kid. ETFs are dedicated, let's say, to the technology field or the, the, the fast growing technology fields. You can buy the NASDAQ 100, what have you. That that's a way to play this. What do you think? Well, I'm a trader, so a trader has a trading plan, and that includes risk control. So if you get anything, you have to have an exit strategy if it doesn't go for you. So yeah, these stocks have huge momentum, and they're leading the market. But I think there's better risk-reward choices. It depends on your trading personality, and like I said, your risk control. Do you mind uh, losing a little bit of money if, if there's a 10% pullback in any one of these stocks? That's how you have to look at this. But I'm a big believer in in profit, uh, that's what drives the markets. And, and if you look at these companies, uh, five companies here this last quarter, Apple, Meta, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon, they, all, they accounted for $100 billion in pure profit for the quarter. So these companies are making money, but the question is, are they a little bit overdone? I would never tell somebody not to buy something because it can always continue to go. But for me, I would let some of these continue to go higher. You want to be buying them when everybody hated Meta was at $100. Yeah. Google was at $100. You know, NVIDIA pulled back. Nobody wanted those. So it's about risk reward, but it's also about proper psychological positioning. Well, you were way ahead of the curve, Alan. I'll give you that. Alan Nuckman, always good seeing you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. All right, on Capitol Hill, if at first you don't succeed, well, try another test, folks. We'll explain and explore after this.